Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. I don't know, what is today? I just woke up. Well, woke up about 3. So it's about 4.30, 1.12, it's a Saturday. It's about 40 degrees outside. I just opened the door to figure out what time and day it was. So, what am I up to? I'm going to attempt a cold start. I'm going to try to fire up the Cushman. Um, the last video I made was last week, or, you know, I don't know. Well, it's still this week. I don't know when the last video I made, Tuesday maybe, um, about firing up the video, about firing up the Cushman. You can see I just woke up. Uh, I've had the battery charger on it, uh, turned down to low, two amps for a few days, in hopes of it taking a charge and, and firing up. Um... Just before I came up to the garage, I turned the gas on for about 30 seconds, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping to get it to, to start. So, anyway, let's give it a little gas here. I ended up putting this gas tank on it, um, getting rid of the fuel pump, and though the gas tank in the back there still exists, you guys can't see anything, it's starting to get dark, though the gas tank back here still exists and as a matter of fact it still has crappy gas in it um, I'm not using it anymore problem with owning a hoard is everywhere you go everything you touch kind of grabs onto you turn those on see if it helps a little bit so gas I'm just going to turn it on for a minute or two so I I heard it fill the carburetor before this thing here is the choke so you pull that up. Um, this battery, I'm not sure it's the healthiest, so I'm going to put it on jump. And let's see if we can't get this thing to fire up. So kick in the clutch, make sure the gas is loose, and hit the key. Let's see what happens. I'm uh, I'm not seeing it start. Try it one more time. Make sure. Once again, that the choke is all the way up. I'm not smelling any gas, so I don't think I flooded it. So I just turn the gas on. One more try. So obviously. It's not cooperating quite yet. Here, I'm just going to give it a little, a little snoot of starting fluid, and we'll see if that helps at all. Um, actually, I do smell gas, so I'm probably screwed. Probably flooded it. Well, let's turn this off. This is why I want to get rid of this carburetor. I don't know. Could you guys see that? I can smell gas, so it did flood. This is one of those um, Harbor Freight lights, LED. See that? We can even, if I can get the right angle, it would even be helpful for this. Well, anyway, I'm going to spray right there that rag on the carburetor with a little little starting fluid. I'll see if that helps. Anyway, if it decides to explode, kind of sucks because I'm sitting right on the explosion. But, you know, sometimes you got to break some eggs. Sorry, being a hoarder. Get all this crap you gotta step around and so forth. Alright, let's see what she does now. Gas is off. I sprayed it, choke is still on, and. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not even a try. Oh, wait a minute. I might have something here. One more time. I got kind of a kick before me. Let's try uh, no choke. All right, this obviously did not work. So I've been thinking about this rig all week and I really want it functional. I really want to turn the key, start it up and drive it out. So this uh, non-starting stuff has to end. So what's the plan? Well, I'm one of those crazy people that lives on YouTube and Craigslist and so forth. And I found this comes off a um, Honda. I don't know how well you can see this. This comes off a Honda 350. And what you'll see is it's an adapter to put a Honda 350 carburetor on it. This is a, a Honda 200 carburetor and uh, it's a matter of spacing to get everything to work right I don't know how well you can see it let's go outside yeah let's put the carburetor in the snow that's good for it um, you can see how wide that opening is and how wide I think you can see it see this is wider than that um, and this looks like it'll it'll fit the Cushman but anyway, I'm thinking of bolting up a Honda carburetor to this, an all-terrain vehicle carburetor. Um, I'm thinking that if I do that, I'll remove this whole wild card of carburetor trouble that I keep facing with this thing. So here's the plan as I attempt to do camera work. If you look at that spacing there. Um, it looks like it's perfect. Then I can bolt up a 350 carburetor. The only concern I have is how deep it is. Oh, I, I seem to have space underneath. It is um, flooded. So, all right. Anyway, folks, um, that's today's episode of The Horde. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, attempt to get this thing Probably tomorrow uh, I'll work on it some more, and uh, you guys will get to see that. So, folks, remember, keep your handlebars out of the snow and off the pavement. Live, love, have a great time, and we'll catch you on the next episode of The Hort. Thanks.